Thumbs up. Uh, Senator. Thank you, uh, Acting Deputy President. Um, those opposite have not made a case for the suspension of standing orders. Uh, those opposite have not made a case as to why government business should be suspended. They have not made a case as to why debate on the carbon tax repeal legislation should be further delayed. Uh, they have not made a case as to why debate on the uh, minerals tax repeal should be further delayed. And if suspension of standing orders would granted, and if we on this side supported that, uh, we would be complicit in facilitating smear by motion. We would be complicit in facilitating an abuse of Senate procedure. I think it's important to put some facts on the record in relation to the matters that are before us. They relate to uh, matters that uh, predated uh, assumption of ministerial office by Senator Sinodinus. Uh, there have been uh, no matters raised that relate in any way to the performance or execution of Senator Sinodinus's ministerial duties. And let me reiterate uh, what Senator Betts and Senator Brandis have said already. There are no allegations against Senator Sinodinus. Uh, there are no specific allegations against Senator Sinodinus. Uh, there is only smear there is only innuendo. And I listened very carefully to Senator Wong's contribution and I listened very carefully to Senator Faulkner's contribution. And I think all of us in this chamber uh, would accept that Senator Faulkner uh, is one of the more forensic prosecutors in this chamber. And we know, uh, as I've said previously, uh, that when a Labor attack is failing, in case of emergency, break glass and deploy Senator Faulkner and his well well honed gravitas. And Senator Faulkner did not in any way, shape or form level an First allegation point. against Senator Sinodinus. And I think that's very telling that the most forensic, perhaps the most capable Labor Senator opposite when prosecuting cases has not raised a single allegation against Senator Sinodinus. Senator Sinodinus, I think all of us in this chamber, even those on the opposite side, when they quietly reflect and are being honest with themselves, recognise that he is a diligent minister. Senator Sinodinus, I think all in this chamber, including those opposite, when they quietly and privately reflect, would acknowledge that Senator Sinodinus is a man of great integrity. He is a man of strong character. He's someone I have known for uh, the best part of 20 years. He's someone who I see as a mentor. Uh, he's someone whose character and integrity is beyond reproach. And he has had, he has had, he has had a professional life before he entered this place. That is not, that is not in dispute. Uh, and yes, uh, there is an inquiry in New South Wales into certain matters. And Senator Sinodinus uh, is cooperating in that forum. And it has, as has been mentioned, uh, attendance as a witness at an ICAC hearing is not in any way an indication of wrongdoing. Uh, Senator Sinodinus uh, has declared uh, that he will be vindicated. But in talking about ICAC, I think it's important that we remember uh, what the uh, what the inception of ICAC was, what led to its creation by the incoming Liberal government in New South Wales in 1988. It was a response to endemic, systemic corruption in the Labor Party in New South Wales and in the former Rand and Unsworth government. That is why the ICAC was established, because of the corruption that was manifest in the New South Wales Labor government. And I'm sure we will hear in subsequent debates a little bit more about that systemic corruption, Mr Acting Deputy President. Senator Sinodinus has given an account of himself, a good account of himself, in response to questions asked of him in this place. Order. Senator Sinodinus has served this nation well. Chief of Staff to the Prime Minister, Officer of the Order of Australia, in recognition of his contribution. Uh, he has made a magnificent and significant contribution to Australian politics, to Australian public policy and to the nation more broadly. Uh, he is a distinguished Australian. He is a respected Australian. Uh, I have confidence in Arthur Sinodinus' Arthur integrity. 
Uh, the smears should cease. The allegations should cease. If you have an allegation, make it. Thank you, Senator.